So we've been out about an hour now. And uh, Archie's calmed down already. He's been running around quite a bit, so he's calmed down a bit now. And uh, in the last video, he was just overexcited, probably because he's with his friends again and just off the lead and out in the countryside, just getting a little bit overexcited. But, uh, hey, hey, bully! Uh, this is a real, really great place to come with the dogs. As you can see, it's just countryside everywhere, just trees, bushes, and grass everywhere. So, it's, and uh, no people, which always helps. Here, this way. Good boy. This way, Arch. Good boy, Biggs. Bully's on the trailer, saying there. can see here all these little runs there's a lot of rabbits around here you can see all the runs in the grass so they're probably smelling all the, all the rabbits you can see them go off into the bushes but uh, looks like quite a bit of rabbit activity around here so I might come down here hunting this weekend with my guns try and grab some rabbits they're all over the place Hundreds and hundreds by the look of it can plot up somewhere there in the woods in those trees and uh, try and catch them early in the morning. But you can see there's a lot of them, a lot of trails. They come quite coming out quite away here, here. Coming out to about here. There's a lot of rabbit trails here. Lots and lots. 
and here we can see footprints in the grass so someone's walked through here in the last I'd say 20 minutes, half hour two people good boy Archie There's definitely a lot of rabbit activity there. Don't drink that, it's dirty. Chase, it's dirty. Yeah, I'm quite pleased to have seen all that activity there with the uh, with the rabbits. Here again, you can see the runs in the grass, lots and lots of them here. Lots of rabbits around here. Yeah, I'm definitely coming here this weekend. Here, and bullies all over it, chases over it over there as well. We're on the scent. There's grouse over there as well, just heard grouse or pheasant, sorry. This way! And again here, look, lots of rabbit activity. Lots and lots. You can tell the difference, like this here. Don't know if you can pick those trails up there. They're a bit longer. So there's one there, one there, one there, that's a deer. That's a deer trail. And that's come bounding through here, into there. But these little ones are all rabbits. All this here, all this is all rabbit. There's loads, loads and loads. It wasn't like this the other day. So they must be breeding now. What is it now? It's May, so yeah, it's about it's about the time that the rabbits start breeding, so anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. Got a little bit overexcited about rabbits there. <laughs> But again, you can see Archie, still really close, sticking with the pack, even though I wasn't really concentrating on the dogs then. Spent about 10 minutes following trails. And, uh, never really left the vicinity of us, so, again, really pleasing.
lots more rabbit trails here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to plot up around here. I can hear pheasants. And uh, this used to be a, a golf course a couple of years ago. And uh, obviously since they've stopped using it, all the animals are moving back to here. Which is good. It's a good sign. Because uh, rabbits have been a bit scarce in this area for, for a couple of years. But uh, here again, you can see them all, loads of them. This was a big one here. And again, you can tell the difference. If you can see, this trail here is people. Can see by the way that the grass is layered in just patches, but this is rabbits because it's it's like a snake trail. So you can always tell the difference. And this is this one here, this is recent. Even though it's like 10, 11 o'clock, that's a recent trail because the dew has gone from the from the inside the trail. It's dry, so. Hey, hey! And they're going into there. And there. Go on, go and have a look. Go on. Find them, find them. Hey, hey! Hey, hey. In. Find them, find them. Billy, coming in. Archie, hit. Billy. Come on. Good lad. This way, this way.
What's that? Billy! That's so big, I could actually use that at home. Just out in the middle of the woods. Hmm, weird. Bakes, enough. Still hear that pheasant in the distance. Biggie! Hey! Drop water! Archie! Hey, hey! Get some water! Go on, Arch! Bakes. Do you not want water? Come on in. Hey, Randy, Randy. Billy. Billy! This way! Good boy. Oh. A lot of cattails here at the moment as well. All these are edible. If you dig down and get the roots of these, these are called cattails. Yeah, if you dig down into the bank and pull up the root, peel away all this. Obviously not at the top, you have to do it right at the bottom of the root where it's the thickest. If you peel away all the outside layer until it, um, you see the, it's like a clear white inside. Very, very pale white colour and uh, you can just eat that raw and it tastes, it's really sweet it tastes like sweet potatoes and it's got loads of carbohydrates in it and uh, yeah this is like a uh, this is like a survival food uh, you can cook it as well you can like um, you can cook it on an open fire and it just tastes like potatoes 
like roast potatoes. But um, if you eat it raw, just peel away the skins and just eat it like celery, it's got loads of water in it. And um, uh, it's like a, uh, well, I can't remember what they call it. But um, yeah, if you're, if you're like dehydrated, uh, just one of those is the equivalent of drinking like two litres of water. So, uh, yeah, good survival food. But uh, I'm going to put the camera down again for a little while because my hand's going numb.